Hello, grade 5 learners. Welcome back to our science class here on Study Buddy PH. Today, we will learn how to become real scientists by understanding the steps in conducting a simple scientific investigation. Are you ready to explore? Let's begin. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the steps in a scientific investigation, plan and conduct your own simple investigation. So get your science notebooks and ball pen ready. Let's begin. First, let's recall some science process skills we've learned before. Can you guess which skill is used in these examples? Well done! These skills, observing, inferring, measuring, classifying, and communicating, are very important when doing an investigation. Today, we will learn the four main steps in a simple scientific investigation. 1. Identify the problem. 2. List down the materials needed. 3. Follow the steps in the procedure. 5. Communicate your results. We use these steps to answer questions and solve problems scientifically. Let me tell you a story. In the small, frosty town of Frostville, something strange was happening. Ice cubes were disappearing faster than usual from their storage room. The townsfolk were puzzled and worried. Why are our ice cubes melting so fast? The curious kids of Frostville wanted to find out, so they decided to conduct an investigation. Step 1. Identify the problem. They asked, why are the ice cubes melting quickly? Step 2. List the materials needed. They gathered ice cubes, cups, bowls, and timers. Step 3. Follow the procedure. They placed ice cubes in different locations, some in their houses, some under the sun, and timed how long each melted. Step 4. Communicate the results. They found out that ice cubes in warmer places or under sunlight melted faster. They shared their findings with everyone and came up with ways to keep their ice cubes longer. Thanks to their investigation, Frostville stayed cool and frosty all year round. Based on the story, what problem did the kids try to solve? What materials did they use? What steps did they follow in their investigation? Very good! Just like them, you too can become young scientists by following these steps. Here are more examples of simple scientific investigations you can try. Example 1. 
Which paper towel absorbs more water? Example 2. Does sunlight affect plant growth? Example 3. Which melts faster, ice in water or ice in air? Remember, always write your problem, materials, procedure, and results when conducting your investigation. This week, we will conduct an investigation like the kids of Frostville. You will observe which soil helps mung beans grow best. Here are your guide questions to plan. What is the problem? What materials do you need? What do you need to do? What have you found out or learned? Make sure to follow all the steps carefully. Before we end, reflect on these questions. You may write your answers in your science notebook. What did you learn about scientific investigations today? Why is it important to follow each step carefully? How can you apply these steps to solve problems at home or in your daily life? Great job, young scientists! For your assignment, think of a simple problem at home that you can investigate using the four steps we learned today. We will share them in our next class. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Study Buddy PH for more science lessons. This is Teacher Waven, reminding you to stay curious and keep exploring.